the unilateral optic disc swelling, what's the cause? Now, don't skip to the end, watch the whole video, take in the different signs and think to yourself, what's going on here? So, the diagnosis in this patient is non-arteritic anterior ischemic optic neuropathy, also known as NAION, and that's actually the most common cause of sudden optic nerve related vision loss in people over the age of 50. And it typically presents with painless unilateral vision loss that occurs on waking. Patients often describe this sudden shadow or blur in the vision when they've woken up in the morning. So visual, visual field loss is usually altitudinal, most commonly inferior, and the optic disc appears swollen, often segmentally, often with peripapillary hemorrhages. So NAION is thought to result from impaired perfusion to the optic nerve head due to small vessel occlusion, particularly in individuals with vascular risk factors. So think diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Also think about obstructive sleep apnea too. And patients may have what we call a crowded optic disc or also known as a disc at risk. And that's also a predisposing anatomical feature as well. So one of the most important things that I really want you to take away from this video is that in all patients presenting with suspected NAION, you have to exclude GCA, transal arthritis, because that can be a blinding, but also life-threatening vasculitis. So you have to ask about headache, jaw claudication, scalp tenderness, weight loss, fatigue, check the inflammatory markers, ESR, CRP, and if there's any suspicion whatsoever, start corticosteroids immediately. And you don't always need to wait for that biopsy or referral. You need to start those steroids because that can save sight, prevent the second eye from being involved. Now look at this disc, it's very swollen and you can see it's quite segmentally swollen as well. So NAION does not respond to steroids unlike GCA and there's no proven treatment to reverse the vision loss. So management is really focused on optimizing those vascular risk factors and explaining to the patient. A fact that I want you to remember is 15 to 20% of cases have second eye involvement. So look, the takeaway is rule out GCA. Think GCA, never forget GCA. Hope you found this video useful.